Hi ladies, um, I was just doing some journaling and I really wanted to share something with you all, it's 2021 and if you read my post a couple of days ago you saw that I spoke about how I'm going to be so relentless this year and the drive that I'm feeling, I feel such conviction as I last year, you know, the end of last year, I was speaking about and I was affirming and I was praying to God and I was saying to him how much I want to live in his purpose and I want to live in my calling. Like, you know, I want to wake up every single day knowing that I am doing exactly what God wants me to do. I want to feel that peace and you know what i feel it already but i know exactly what i need to do and i need to move forward with that now and so i wanted to share with you all just like how that is possible and what god has been saying to me and and even my own journey with with dealing with that right like my own journey with finding my purpose and finding my calling and finding what god wants me to do with what i want to do and then finding that peace out of it all right like i am so grateful to be able to be a mom and be able to work from home like that you guys are speaking about that all the time that is the most important thing to me right but second to that being able to have my, spend time with my family is also doing work that i love i want to wake up every single day doing work that lights me up that doing work that i know that i'm called to do right not just punching in the numbers and punching in the hours because of a paycheck like obviously i need finances i need to work i need money as well like everybody else but i have such a drive right now to live on purpose and that's why i'm being relentless on that and that is what I want to help you with, right? Because I feel like if every single one of us, especially now that we're moms, before I was a mom, I had these these goals and dreams as well, but it wasn't as important. It wasn't as dry, a driving force. But I feel like if now I'm a mom, it's more important than ever because not only do I want my daughter to see me living on purpose, but I also want her to have that purposeful life. And that is why I had that YouTube video last week about declarations and prayers for your, your baby now, right? So every single day, I just pray for Zena that she finds her purpose at the early stage in life because that is what i wanted for myself and even though i didn't get it because i had a great um upbringing i had a wonderful family life and i'm so grateful to my parents right but i did take long for me to find purpose and for me to like find my footing and what is it i feel called to do i'm still here right now right so i pray for zena that she finds that early up and she pursues it relentlessly and she does it with love and with there's such peace and such joy right because that is what we're called here on earth to do like god says he came so that we can have life and that we can live it more abundantly not just live life going through struggle and stress and worry and fear and overwhelm but to live life abundantly you know the shalom of life like well-being and prosperity and peace and joy and happiness and all of those amazing things so I just want to remind you today that it starts with us remembering who we are, remembering our worth, remembering that we are Christ's children, we are God's daughters, and because of that, he's the king of kings, and so we are his children as well, and we need to be able to walk in that as well. So, like, I just have to remind myself of my worth, and I want to rem remind you of it as well. Like, you are worthy, you are deserving, Zena's here now with my lip gloss, so you are deserving of all the things that you desire, yeah. you are amazing, you are so supported you are loved i love to say that you are loved over and over and over again because when somebody loves you they take care of you when somebody loves you they look out for you when somebody loves you they do everything for you they move heaven and earth for you okay so when you remember how loved you are remember that you're being fully supported by god as well remember that everything is working out for your good remember that he is here for you he's he's looking out for you like he's got your back absolutely and so i just want to, right so just it's just a it's just going back to that right because we are so overcome by fear who are we to do this like that is not meant for us like this is too hard for us all of these things come good through our minds but when we remember that we are worthy that we are loved that we are supported that we are always provided for we can remember as well to just let go release the fear of lack release the fear of not being worthy and just open up ourselves to receive um the abundance receive the love receive the peace the 
prosperity, the success, everything that we desire, receive it from God because that is what he wants from us as well. So I just wanted to just bring that to you right here. And some of the things that I do to like remind myself of these things is I journal, I pray, I read my Bible, I affirm, right? But it's a daily work. It's a daily work because every single day we're going to wake up with a chatter in our head saying we're not good enough or oh, who are we to do these things or oh, you're always going to be overwhelmed you're such a loser whatever is going through your mind but i wanted you to just take a take a deep breath stop and just remind yourself no 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 i am loved i am worthy i am supported i am more than enough i can do all things to christ to strengthen me nothing is impossible with god right you are never far away from god's love and he's always going to provide that for you so you know as i said before i think sometimes that that's what the challenge is for us as women as moms to be reminded of that and so yes sometimes affirmations and journaling may not be enough maybe you need somebody to be there to say to you why is it that you're feeling this way and why is it that you you know it's, you're finding it so hard just to go back to that memory go back to that feeling of being loved like you know that is what we need to go back to and it's the feeling it's the thought and it's actually just getting into that emotion of it like when you're loved you are fully supported you're fully provided for you're fully taken care of everything is handed out to you and we just need to open ourselves up to receive it because we know that we are worthy and deserving of it okay that's all i wanted to share with you today and if you are feeling some sort of way it's 2021 as i said before the 2nd of january you do not want to go through the rest of this year feeling the way that you are you want to be an overcomer you want to be relentless in your pursuit for your goals reach out to me i'm happy to have a chat slide into my dms let's talk about it and let's get to you to where you want to be for the new year okay see you later bye